Good evening guys and girls. Alright, so this is just a quick tutorial how to install Chaosville for the OT launcher. For those that don't know, Chaosville 2 has partnered with the amazing team over at Resident Rise to allow us to do a load of bits and pieces through their launcher. So we've got our own private pack and then what we've recently released on Saturday was the public pack for you all guys to download. So exactly the same version of mods we're using. Uh, we've even got the seed which is part of the description and it does all the installation for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go a quick video on how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to www.atlauncher.com and then head to downloads. You scroll all the way down and depending on your operating system you click one of these buttons. So I'm running Windows 7 Pro 64-bit, so I'm grabbing this. You can see it'll just download here. And what we want to do here is just go and find it, and there we go, we've got it there. So we cut it, and we head to the desktop. Just because it's easiest for the desktop, so we'll create a new folder. And the reason why we create a new folder, and we don't just run it on the desktop like you used to say run the FTB launcher, uh, for a lack of, uh, and the TechIt launcher, is because of the fact that it creates all its own files and folders inside here. So we've now got this folder here. Let's get rid of that. Oh, no. And we just double click this and we run it. And we run this. There we go. It starts to do the install. And while it's doing that and downloading all the various files, we'll have a quick talk about this. So we've got backups, of course, which is just backups. Configs are specific configs to do with various things inside the launcher itself downloads where it's going to install all those mods for you that you pick. Instances is each instance you've installed because there's multiple I guess uh, packs available on AT Launcher. A lot of them are very very good and a lot of fun. So you can try any of them and it'll do all the installation for you. You can choose your optional mods etc. And then you've got your servers so you can actually run an install of a server directly from the launcher. But I'm not going to show you how to do that. It's simple anyway but the options there and of course temp is temp and then we've got logs. So we'll just grab that one, minimise that down, have a look at my lovely gecko in the background and just wait for this to finish. It might take a little while, I'll be honest with you. Alright, so it's gotten to this point. So let's just shut that down here. And then task manager, just quickly check this, there you go, Java's running there, so just end that process. And then we head on back over to, oh, where am I going? Back into here. We run that launcher again, and this is not this. Is, this is just happening because on my computer it's very specific. You should only have to run it once. Here we go. We've got set up the launcher. So we want English, and I don't care about the leaderboard. So we go save. And what we'll do is we'll create this for us, and this is the fantastic launcher we've got here. So first thing you want to do, guys, is you want to go to account over here and type in your email address and password or well, your username and password, email address if you're part of Mojang as opposed to the Minecraft. And you put your password in there. And we go remember password and we press add. And it will do it'll log us into the login servers for Minecraft, same way you do normally. And it's taking a little while though. Maybe we've got downtime on the servers, so that'd be awkward, wouldn't it? Alright, there we go. Alright, do we want to switch to it? We want to say yes. Goes and grabs my skin. And look at me, that's my skin from the Chocobo series. I with my little hot pants on, which is brilliant. Alright, now we do the easy bit. We find the packs, and this is what I mean about there are a lot of really good packs in here. And of course, this is the Resident Rise pack that we worked with their team to help us on this. And this is the public Chaosville pack. And slightly further down is the private pack that we're using, the guys from Yogs are using, etc. So we go here. Here's the crate. Uh, blah, 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 blah the create server button, but we don't want that, we want a new instance because we're going to have a single player. And then you head to this, so 2.560RR Yogs Minecraft, and we'll call it Chaosville. And because I'm the only person that uses this computer, I'll install it for the entire computer. But if it's you sharing your computer, make sure you check that so other people don't get your install. Alright? So we click start installation process. And this is why this is so simple. So what we do here, these are all the mods in it that are there as standard. We also have a copy of a couple of other little mods in there, so redstone and motion, things like that, which would put in specifically for us. And so what we want on here is damage indicators, so we can see how much damage we're doing to the mobs. 
Gravity Gun, because that's amazing. Same with Mobius Core. Portal Gun. Steve's Factory Manager. Tinkerer. Underground Biomes. Now what we have is an option. If you've seen our videos and Dave's videos, we're running Opus as a map. So when you check that, it unchecks all the other maps. But you've got the option of Map Writer, Rees Mini Map, Voxel Map, Journey Map. But I love Opus and the way it makes it look, so that's what I'm putting in. So then we click Install. What this will do, this will head in and go and grab all the resources for all the language options available. And we'll see where this goes. So look, you can see it downloading down here. So let's just put this up here. This other one, so let's put a little description from us with the version of Forge. Uh, and then you can see Project Red's volcano that Andy lives in. God awful turtles that Ted keeps messing around with. The uh, terrifying witchcraft from lying in Bedmon. And of course Dave running around being a magical wizard and making life hard for the rest of us non-magical wizards. Do you get a non-magical wizard? I don't think you do. And this takes a little while, so what we'll do is I will speed this bit of the video up until we get to the bit where my next option is, okay? Okay, now what we see is it's beginning to download all those mods from the list. So it's 144 megabytes worth of mods that it's going to be installed and it's going to config them for us and everything like that. So there you go, there's 5 meg so far. Your download should go a little bit quicker than this. I'm sitting in a, in a hotel in Latvia at the moment, so my internet isn't the speediest it could be. But I really wanted to get this video out to you guys and all the fans of uh, Chaosville so you can play along using our seed and discover things and comment on our videos calling us idiots because you've just found like a village and we've been looking for one for weeks. Okay, there we go, it's downloaded those mods and now it's literally grabbing each one from the individual website. This is where it does the amazing bit opens up the direct ad fly links, all I see, it's just pulled up an ad in Latvian for you. What we do is we click skip ad, because we've already seen it, it's lovely, and we hit keep down here inside Chrome, or save inside whatever, this will put it into your downloads folder on your computer. So there we go, it's nearly finished, and once that's finished we go, just, there we go, finished, we minimise that window again, and look, Browser open to download the file, railcraft, etc, etc, etc. Please save this file to the following location. C users, blah, blah, blah. AT launcher downloads, or just downloads. And so what we'll do is have a quick look at my downloads folder. And there it is in there for us. Minimize that again. Okay, I've downloaded this file. And it brings up the next one that we need to put in that has, we have to use the AdFly links for. And remember guys, as much as it's AdFly, don't use AdBlock. Because these guys, it's how they earn their money how they can afford to write these amazing mods and plugins for you all. There we go, it's starting to download that. Same reason why we always ask not, for you, not to use an ad block on uh, YouTube, because of course we make money from the advertising, which means we can afford to keep making more videos that you guys enjoy. Same way that you might buy a DVD. So we've got 21 seconds until that one's finished. Oh! No! Keep! Alright, let's just close that one down because I don't want to keep having that noise come up. Crikey! Right, here we go. Twilight Forest, 2.8 egg meg. 8 egg meg? 8 meg. Alright, downloaded this file. There we go, it's now getting the rest of them that it doesn't need to talk to the interwebs for. So it's beginning to download all the configs for all of this. 0.13? Is it 1, 3? I can't even word. It's going to extract them. And it's done. Alright, so quickly we'll just nip down here to uh, my private pack and we'll type out this seed. 
So that's 79236641071371256. Just copy this because we're going to need it in a second. Head to instances over here, and here's all the information. Remember, guys, quickly before we go on, if you have it, ever have any problems with it and you need help, we've got the support link to the Resident Rise guys and the website there and they will come through and they'll be able to help you with any issues. So what we do is we click play and it will begin to load up all the stuff. Remember, don't be frightened if this takes a long time to load because it's building everything in the background. So let's just grab that, there you go. You can sit and see as it sets up all of the mods for the first time. And it does take a little while to load each time you load it, but there's, an, there's, a, some, there's in the region of 190 mods in this pack. So it's not a small amount. Biomes of Plenty's coming in. Forestry. Oh man, I just absolutely adore this. And of course you've got the Choco Craft stuff I'm doing. Ah, uh, you've got all the bits and pieces everyone else is doing. Ars Magica, Witchery. Uh, I don't know what the guys from... Sh I don't know what Shin's doing other than stealing people's uh, books. And giggling about it on Twitter. Right, when you see these severe errors up here, don't worry about them. It's just missing textures from... Uh, and it doesn't cause any problems and it still functions in the correct way. There is one thing to note, if you are running a 64-bit operating system, make sure you've got 64-bit Java installed. If you don't, we're gonna have a, it's going to struggle to load. So what, we'll show you how to check that as well while I'm here. So let me just open a new tab in Clover. We'll go to local disk. Now where to tell is if you're running a 64-bit OS, you'll have these two folders, an 86 folder and a normal program file. The x86 is for a 32-bit installation, but I'm running 64-bit, so I go and check in here, and I can see my Java folder, so I know I'm running the correct version of Java for Windows. If you don't have one, go and check your 86 folder. It's quite likely there'll be one in here where it's been installed incorrectly, and this happens if you use Chrome to also install the browser. So you have to head over to the Sun Java website and find the one that's specific for your operating system. If you don't, it's going to run a lot slower, and you're not going to get half as much. You'll get oh, sorry, you get twice as much lag out of it, and we don't want that because it makes the game harder to play and less enjoyable. All right, still loading away. Severe missing textures again. You don't have to worry about this. You don't actually need. Them. All right, there we go got it fully loaded and here we have Chaosville so we'll go create new worlds we'll call it Chaosville game mode survival more world options of course let's just paste in the seed structures are on we'll put allow cheats on so I can game mode and show you and we'll go done create world and again this may take a little while to generate the, the world for the first time for you because it's also loading in all of those mods that it's going to uh, deploy into sections and we'll get that bit done come on there you, go. So you see loading dimensions for the forge mod loader it's found there's no save data yet okay. preparing spawn region oh I'm excited I sound excited, it's my map anyway there you go, checking my skin Skin, checking it twice. Don't worry if it goes non not responding up here. It's because it's busy working on bits and pieces. And it'll get it done. Let's just see how many extra bees. Oh, hello. There we go. Oh, sorry. Ignore that. That was worrying, wasn't it? Let's quickly just go game mode one. Put myself into fly mode. And we fly up. And look, this is the world. You can see that's where the turtle crashed in, the, in everybody's starting videos. You had Dave's castle up here, there was the pickaxe over here, and it's the entire world that we're playing on. 
Alright, so guys, remember, just follow it through. Make sure you follow what Resident Rise and AT Launcher are doing on Twitter. You can see their links uh, in the description. And once again, absolutely massive thank you to the guys from AT Launcher, particularly Dave and Velo, who I spent an awful lot of time working with. And uh, they spent even longer, without sleep for a couple of days, getting this ready for you lot to play. Alright, so thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy playing the Chaos Field 2 pack. Bye!